Okay, King Charles, let's jump in. Let's show you how to, to add a product to your store. Let's go log in to Shopify. Log in. KCP Live. Boom. Let's go to products here on the left panel. Open this up here. Let's go to add product to the right. Great. Now, where do we get our product from? Now, you send me an email. Now, I just want to share something because it's very important when you see something in public and you and you want to know where it, where it came from. And you uh, and I want to show you as simple as taking a picture of a product, putting it through the AliExpress app. Let's go to AliExpress as well. Now, if you go to your phone on, on your iPhone, AliExpress has an app. Right here, when, when you open the app on your on your cell phone, the search bar will give you an option for a camera. When you take a picture of a product, whether it be a screenshot or a real life picture, it will generate the closest thing they have in AliExpress to that product. So it's a huge tool because when you sent me this e email, I was able to take the picture with my phone and run it through the AliExpress app to see if it already has them. Now, everything you sent me doesn't is not in AliExpress. A lot of it was and a lot of it wasn't. A lot of the shoes was not there. These jackets, these full suits were not there, you know, which is understandable, um, which is understandable on all sides. It was great to find these these ties there. These ties were uh, located on AliExpress because you only, only have this one picture. We would need many more pictures, right? So when you go into the product, now you have different angles of the pictures, close up pictures. So that was important because AliExpress gave me the ability to go find more pictures like that, right? That is the benefit of having, you know, us on our team. Some people won't even go that far for you. See, I, I didn't find this set. I did not find this set on AliExpress. So, and that is such a beautiful tie, isn't it? Wow. So we'll have to get the exact vendor for this particular tie set. Uh, because we, I need to know their price and what we need to market to. Uh, so there's, and then you know we need other angles of the tie. Okay. I did not find this set either. I don't believe. Um, but what I did find, uh, I think I found that jacket. I know we found those ties. I did not see that tie set either. That's a beautiful tie as well. Uh, we didn't. I don't know if I saw that one either. The shoes are beautiful too. We just need the vendor's information too. Uh, we need to know their website if they have one. Uh, their price because I need to be able to price the product for your website. If you're selling it for the exact same price, what is the margin? You know. Anyways, let's focus on getting the product into the store. Okay. Let's choose a product. On our wish list, I saved some of the products you sent me, and let's get to it. Oh, here we go. We actually did find this set. It's unavailable. Here we go. Great. So what I do is I take a screenshot. Control 4. Control four, taking a picture of exactly the uh, crop. This is for the Mac. Control four, com Shift Command four. Excuse me. Shift Command four. Boom. And I copy and paste the title. And I install that here into the description. And I do gents, necktie, blue plaid, 
active Dakar time. Copy. That's the title. Title. Now let's upload the images. Uh oh, let me get a charge. <laughs> As I was saying, let's get those pictures. Great. What's the price of the hair? Six eighty eight. So six eighty eight times three. Eighteen for that. You know, we're drawing land at in nineteen ninety nine. You can brand these. You can put your, your logo on these pictures, however you like. Let's do 100. How many, how many do they have in stock? Let's look. They said they have 13 pieces available. Wow. So that, that's a hot product, huh? So that, because they have 13, you can mark it up if you wanted to. I only got 13. I only got 10 left. Now we have everything uh, in, in place. Now we're going to put it inside of a category right here to the right organization. This is important because if you don't do this, it will not be registered. It, when they go to the category, it won't be there. So this is a men's category right now. Um, and the vendor is on KCP Live. We're going to save it. And then it's going to automatically generate the collection type because that's what. That's what the website, uh, the home page is about. The collection is going to be in the men's section. Now I want to change. Okay, now we we put the product in the store. Let's look at it. Let me view the product. Let's see, thirty nine, ninety nine L. See now these five stars. We can add that into this. Where is their star? Seventeen hearts. Uh, where the stars at? So the 4.8 stars. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Um, so there, you can add it to cart. You can. It's a very nice top. And they go and they can check out. And so the whole process is there in place. Okay, added product to the store. We made sure that we copy and pasted everything. You can place whatever you want to write, whatever you like to in here. It could be a kingism. It could be a discount uh, code that's, that you say, like we're running a discount on this product, the discount code. And we'll, we're going to work hand in hand in all of this process. Uh, I just need some help on your, on your side getting the products in the store, most of that data entry. Now, when we run campaigns, We'll make sure that the writing in these description spaces are proper, you know, because that's all in closing the deal. Okay? Yes, sir. Let me close this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Uh, Saturday, I look forward to speaking with you. Um, I'm going to send you a video basically about what, exactly what I'm going to say on the radio. So, talk to you soon.